Welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing Hellbear, the mythology American whiskey, next on the channel. Now we're talking about mythology's Hellbear. It's American whiskey. This is a supposed, the rumor, legend on the back, Past a field of wildflowers, a Colorado prospector ventured into the darkness. In the mind, he heard a loud snap, and then he was falling. In a daze, in pitch black, he awoke face to face with a unique creature, part bear, part badger. Resolved that today would not be his last, he rose and followed the glow of the creature's eyes. The hell bearer guided the explorer to the surface, then vanished back into the mine. Inspired by a hell bearer, we crafted the spirit of the rye whiskey and straight bourbons that's sharp enough to bite through your favorite cocktail, but smooth enough to be drank neat. This is a 90 proof product. It is a blend of, like we talked about, rye and bourbons, which makes it a boo rye. Uh, they're four to five years old. Here in Michigan, you can get these for about $55. They're a little harder to find a lot. Not a lot of places carry it. Not even like um, my total wine. They don't even carry it. The mass bill is an undisclosed ratio, two to three year rye, 95% rye, 5% malted barley, 4% bourbon, or four year bourbon, 60% corn, 36% rye, 4% malted barley. And the five year bourbon is 68% corn, 20% wheat, 12% malted barley. So, I mean, that's an interesting story behind it. Um, I do have a couple picks, um, I think, from. Um, Bourbon Junkies. Uh, their picks were, honestly, they were outstanding. They were great. But this is straight up on its own. No picks, no nothing. Let's get into the nose. Oh, wow. That's it's like a subtle fruit. So um, you definitely get the rye spice. It's, it's a little prominent, but it's not like heavy. You definitely get the vanilla, and I get a, like a light, faint caramel. Not... Huge. She's, as you can see, she's a little clear. She's not really thick. She's got some legs, but they're they're spindly. We'll call them. They're the uh, preteen legs. Let's get into the taste. Oh wow, that is a red berry, like a strawberry, raspberry, right, right up front in your mouth. If you've ever had berries, you've been with your wife or your girlfriend or a significant other, and you've gone and had raspberries or strawberries, and you did them in the Cool Whip or the version of the Cool Whip, that frosty vanilla goodness with the berry note, that's what I'm getting right off the taste of this. It's, it's unique. It's a, it's a really crisp taste. Uh, the finish is still there. I can still taste, um, I can still taste that strawberry and uh, Cool Whip. That's what this tastes like. It tastes like a strawberry Cool Whip. You get that vanilla note. It's, it's really lasting. And you get some baking spice. For, like I said, it's, this is only about 90 proof, so it's not really strong. This, I bet, would make a unique old-fashioned, because usually the old-fashions I like, um, I usually like them at least 100 proof like a bottle and bond product like Evan Williams, uh, sometimes Buffalo Trace, because that has a unique uh, flavor profile. But I bet you this would make a, a really different old fashioned because you would have that fruit note right up front. You got that, that cool whip, the vanilla, the, the little bit of the baking spice. Like I said, the Kentucky hug is almost non-existent. I mean, this is, Honestly, if you were to chill this, you could probably crush this all summer, which is why I look all fried up like I do. I've been trying to get as much uh, yard work as done as humanly possible. But for this, this is actually, this is really good. This is an actually really good easy sipper, 90 proof. I would put this, I might do a head-to-head -head one time of this and Buffalo Trace just to kind of see, because they're both roughly, well, Buffalo Trace, you're getting to be able to see it more. Uh, it's thirty dollars in my area. This is fifty-five, but they're both ninety proof. They both have unique caramel vanilla note. They both have a, a, a spice note. They both have a different fruit note. But this one really punches heavy with the berries note. 
This is uh, the Average Whiskey Drinker Channel. I'm your host, Brian. Like I always say, find a whiskey, open the whiskey, enjoy the whiskey. Because good whiskey, even Hellbearer, is meant to be enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk with you guys soon.